Yo guys, it's Chris here, and I am the Spirit Gamer, and welcome back to more Legends of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Okay. We should go over a few things here, because this is this is a little bit awkward. I did not know how to do this, or how to fix this from the start, but I had an issue with my save file a while ago, and I lost all my progress up to the point that, up to the last point, which was the completion of the Earth Temple. And I don't have all of those, I didn't have anything recorded past that. So I had to think about it a little bit and um, yeah, there's nothing I can really do. Damn it, Battleship. It's probably not a good place to start this episode. Um, so there are a few things I'd like to go over before we start the next part of the story. And I'll do this while... <laughs> Took it like a champ there, King of Red Lions. Um, well, I'll explain a few things about um, what, or a few notes I should make from la from the temple we just did, and something that has also happened with Nintendo that negates a, a very big feature in this game. All right, so to start off, in the Earth Temple, there is a room um, that we did not explore. I think it's the only room that we did not explore the entire dungeon, where it's just op it's an option of the room that we or medley got kidnapped and put into jail from. Um, in that room, you need, uh, you need, geez, what's it called? You need, what's it called? The mirror shield, couldn't remember the name of it. You need the mirror shield to, to direct some light at the uh, doors there to break them down. Inside there is a treasure chest and inside the treasure chest there is, I actually don't know right off the bat, I actually will put a note on the screen of what it contains and because um, I actually recorded the room before I actually got the mirror shield. And there's that one room. There's also that room just before grabbing the getting the mirror shield uh, with those pose. The first time we've seen pose in the game. Um, one thing that I did not know and that I discovered almost completely by accident without anything looking it up. Is that if you allow, if, if the pose loses their lantern and only if you lose their lantern and they manage to Wow! Sorry, I almost got blew up. Um, if, the, if they lose their lantern, they are able to um, take control of you. Kind of like brainwashing. And um, if they manage to do that, um, once they r get out of you, once they leave your body, they are defeated. Um, both posts can be doing that. However, the Moblins can only, can only be defeated by normal means. They can't be defeated just by getting into you, which sounds great now that I think about it. Um, they can be defeated by that means. If you really, really want to lose your mind, literally lose your mind, and defeat them that way, that's for sure. Um, footage on screen of me defeating them. There's that. Also, um, there are a couple areas in between here and there of the Earth Temple that we not see. They are obscured by um, fog. I want to call them fog. It's probably what it is. The fog that jinx you. Um, there's this this one room which is on screen right now where um, if you were to fall down off the bridge um, you can go or not fall down off the bridge if you were to fly off the bridge um, onto the platforms that are hanging down from the ceiling you can get to a special area where you can uh, get some extra magic and some one root green rupees if you're really so inclined I don't think it's worth it to be honest um, if you happen to fall down, there's a lot of floor masters waiting for you, buddy. So I wouldn't always recommend it. Um, and then the last thing, at the bottom of the large hub room, just before Jalhalla, there is, um, there's, jeez, what was it called? There's a, not much, I'm trying to remember what was going on here, but, um, there's not much to see. There's a bunch of floor masters and a bunch of pots break. That's it. So, yeah. That, that's really the notes to make. Now, the large note that I need to make here is that the Tingle Bottle is no longer functional. Um, footage on screen of the fact that Miiverse no longer exists. It was taken down a year or so ago. And because the Tingle Bottle relies solely on the Miiverse functionality, you can no longer find Tingle Bottles on the ocean, nor can you send them. Um, sad but true, because I thought some of the Tingle Bottles were... Stuff we got in Tingle Bottles was actually pretty funny. Um, but yeah, Miiverse is no longer existing, no longer exists, so the Tingle Bottle is now useless. Therefore, it is no longer required or no longer useful, I guess you could say, 
to work to acquire the tingle bottle at the beginning of the game so essentially you don't have to, to save tingle from the depths of depths of hell in that jail cell and well to clarify you still need the pick the box um at some point in the game in fact it's required which we'll get into a while but if you want to save Tingle now, early in the game, you can. But you can wait until much later in the game to do so since the Tingle Bottle is no longer a thing. Even though I have it. Yeah. So. Now, what am I doing here at this island? Well, I'm showing what you need to know before coming here. There is this Octorok statue blowing wind. That if you get close to it, you'll get blown away, as I just did there unintentionally. We need an item to do that first, and an item we do not have. So there is um, one square west, I think. Yeah, one square west of the Forest Haven, uh, right around these two squares, um, is the item is an island that we need to go to. Before you can do this, you need the fire and ice arrows. Um, if you've completed the Earth Temple, you already have them. If you do, <laughs> if you're kind of skipping ahead here, I recommend going back a couple of videos to get the lowdown about what we've done because you need the fire you need uh fire arrows in order to do this so i'll warp quickly to the forest haven and i'll meet you guys over there oh don't mind that for a second we'll get back to that in a second all right so heading west if i can go a little faster thank you That little island over there, kind of like an like, like island with a little bit of horns on it, that's where we need to go. Um, on that island is the item that we need to get past that Octorok blowing hurricane. That sounded great. And, yeah. Also, one thing I probably should mention, I, I kind of forgot to, uh, forgot to mention, is that I have the final rupee upgrade. I also got that by accident. Because, yeah... But other than that, you know, it, it really does suck that I lost my save file. You know, house gets hit by lightning, which is, by the way, it is I know is unlikely. But we got hit by lightning. I'm, I'm just glad my entire Wii U didn't get blown out in the process. All right, so we're here at this island. I'm going to get rid of the battleship, so we do have nothing impeding our way apart from ice physics. Let's see if I can get to him. Jeez. Hit him? Can I hit him? Ow! Good thing I got the full full rock bomb upgrades. Jeez, come on, hit him! Oh hey, I hit his bombs with my bombs. Ow! There we go. He's dead. Pick it up in the boat. No, I missed. Well, whatever. <laughs> All right, so approach the island, right where the mouth of that dragon is, and aim. Get enough fire. Get out a fire arrow, and aim generally for where the uh, uh, wind is coming out, and fire an arrow. All right. So just like the fall volcano to get the power uh, rings, we have five minutes to get into that dragon's mouth and do what we need to do in there. Um, this is uh, easier said than done because we got ice physics, which is always a load of fun. Because you, you know you love it when games throw ice physics at you because everyone loves them. <laughs> uh, ooh, we're sliding down. And I'm going to ignore that blue rupee. <laughs> that sounds like a blue rupee. Okay, for right here, um, I'd recommend going prone. Because for some strange reason, you do not slide when you're going prone. I didn't think that. Maybe Nintendo didn't really realize that people could do stuff like that. Maybe, I don't know. Um, just, just make it. Wow. 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 I was not expecting it to do it that easy. 
Usually it take me a thousand tries to do that, but no, it took me like one try. All right, going down the hole. Fire down the hole! Okay, there are some keys in here. I am going to ignore the keys, although they're probably going to annoy the crap out of me. Wow, oh, dodge. Aha! Two for the price of one. M -m 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 Monster kill, kill, kill. Can I get the rupees? Nope, nope. Game's not gonna let me have them. As if I need more money, which I do. Aha! There you go. Alright, what's in the chest? You got the iron boots. There's an iron in my boots. <laughs> now we got iron boots. Um, not a particularly enjoyable um, piece of equipment. Um, but they are necessary for the next dungeon, which is why they make you get them. Um, down there, that hole, there's a bunch of enemies in there. And... Don't really get anything for them, to be honest. Um, it's just a bunch of enemies that you can fight. Oh, you know what? There are some dark nuts down there that we need to fight because I still need to get those iron crests. And I think the fire go a wind goes away too once you defeat them all. But they're encased in ice, so you don't have to defeat all take them all on, on all at once. Jeez. Um... Okay, ice. Magic. I'm just so used to the ice theme at this point. Parry attack. There we go. Got the parry attack that I actually get, really want when fighting a dark nut. Ow, he just he just roundhouse kicked me. <laughs> I like seeing that roundhouse kick. Right there is a moblin. I can't tell. It's so difficult to see. No, bogoblins. Green bogoblins too. Oh, you're a little tired, a little uh, speepy from uh, sleeping in ice for so long, huh? And I can't believe I just got whacked by a sword from a bogoblin. And there is a joy pendant that I want to take. And there is a heart that I want to take. I'm gonna take your heart. And another. M <laughs> like yeah. Uh. Oh, you do get something for this. Okay. Um, well, good thing I came down here. That's for sure. Grab these. The one rupee that I may or may not need. Orange rupee. Okay. Well, we need money coming up soon and lots of it. So I'm supposed it's okay that I came down here. Oh, wow, that takes me all the way to the top. Okay, that's, that makes me convenient. And I fall into the ice water. We're going to get hypothermia. Well, that's space over, guys. <laughs> I don't think it's hypothermia. Okay, no. Oh, the battleship is back. Dang it. You see his little flag. Right, we have the iron boots. Now we can return back to the island we started the episode on. And uh, see what's inside the cave. So I'll meet you guys by that one island. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you also have your uh, skull hammer equipped in addition to the uh, iron boots. Um, I'm curious. I'm, I'm legitimately curious. Oh shoot! Not a good idea. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button again. Well, it looks like the uh, let's play. Uh, but Wind Waker HD is in full swing now because I pressed the wrong button again and wouldn't you know it, it was a bomb. What I find most interesting is that bomb did not get blown away. So it might be possible. Oh wait, it did get blown away. <laughs> okay, let's try this. 
Actually, I cannot destroy this thing with the bomb, can I? Okay. Take out the scroll hammer. Oh, looks like we get another song here. Up, up, down. Right, left, right. Wingazaria. Are you the new hero? I am Fate of the Kokiri tribe. I know Piri's you as child, but my eyes can often off to see. I am of most esteemed age. I had been praying years that the power to repel evil continue to be contained within the blade of the Master Sword. But I was attacked by the evil Gandorf, and this is what has happened to me. You wish to return the power to your blade, don't you? In that case, look for the one who is the same instrument that I hold, and teach him the song you just played. Once you do, I'm certain the holder of the instrument will feel the blood of the sages awaken within his veins. That wind waker you hold was used long ago to conduct the sages when we played our song to call upon the gods. In those days, it was always the king conducting for us. Please, tell the king that I will still play, even in the next world. Fate is pretty cool. I like him. Okay, so... If you remember a million years ago, there was a certain... Oh, jeez, the battleship. Okay, um, there was a certain... Oh, how to say it? Child on a, on a tree forest. Okay, there was a child on the tree forest. His name was what? What was it again? Oh, Makar. Makar happens to hold that same instrument. Hmm, isn't that a coincidence? Warp to the forest ape. Oh, I was expecting to have some mail at this point. <laughs> Apparently not. Alright, so apparently Makar is so powerful that he can play music through water. I don't know what kind of physical sense that makes, but sure. Also, you're going to need a grappling hook for this one. A grapple hook right into the water. Into the low zone. Oh, Link, I haven't seen you quite some time, have I? I'm surprised you were able to find me here. Hmm? You're wondering why I'm all the way down here? I'm practicing a new song for a new song for an ceremony. I need privacy. Isn't it fun everyone knows the advance with the song I'll play? What? You can hear my song outside? Huh. R r really? I thought the sound of the waterfall would drown it out. Perhaps I should play a little more softly when I practice from now on. Hmm. Why? Is that a conductor's baton? Link, are you a maestro? That's incredible. Are you going to conduct it for me, Link? What kind of song is it? I can't wait to hear it. Please conduct. You conducted the wind gods, Aria. Hmm. Does it go something like this? Strange. Why does it feel like I already know this song? Link, the sacred song you've conducted for me has awakened me. I know myself now. I am the sage of the Wind Temple. It is my fate to return the power to repel evil to your master sword. And to erase the regrets of my ancestors. Oh, Link, please, you must take me with you to the Wind Temple. Look where Makar is sitting. He's so cute. Okay, so 
back again to that island. Going back and forth, eh? If I can get the thing right. Jeez. Link, as was the case with Medley, I have no doubt that Makar 2 has some special role to play in these events. Discovering that role is your duty. I am certain that co by cooperating, the two of you can overcome the dangers and pitfalls of this temple. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Get over here, Makar! <laughs> I was being quiet there for a for atmosphere. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no one's playing nearby. I'll explain in a second. Wooden Temple. Okie dokie, the Wind Temple. Not by far my least favorite, but certainly not one of my absolute favorite. So the Wind Temple. Uh, while Makar while Medley was more manageable. When trying to navigate the temple, at least the Earth Temple, Makar is a little bit more plump and small and short. He is a lot slower than you are. And that's by design. See how slow he's moving down those stupid steps? Jeez, Makar. Um, but his, his thing, his special ability... Now, um, I... Um, his special ability is to plant seeds. If you see mounds like this right here, um, you can direct Makar to him, and he'll be able to plant a seed into them, growing a little mini tree. Um, that is going to be a running theme in terms of uh, mechanics in this dungeon. Is that the oh, oh Stalfos forgot that was there? Um, that's going to be a running mechanic in this dungeon, and it'll be used very much often. And I think it's actually, I think Makar's special ability is a little bit more often used in the Wind Temple than Medley's special ability than it was um, in the uh, Earth Temple. Um, and probably not for good reason, because it is a little bit annoying, because Makar is slow as turns. Um, but there's the first warp pot. Man melody, bring the car down here so we can plant a tree. AS ASPCA, no, no. Some weird organization, well, not weird, but some faithful organization to planting trees. Also, Makar can fly too, which is funny, because uh, both Medley and Makar can fly, obviously, because Medley's a Rito and Makar's a. Uh, I don't know what Makar is, but. <laughs> And the three, it grows instantly. And that smile scott on his face is pretty good, too. And this should be our first small key, actually. No, orange ruby. I could not have been any more wrong. All right, so... In order to get past that wind, we, there's a switch at the other end of this room that we need to um, put Makar on. Because Makar may be a stubby little boy, but he's a pretty heavy stubby little boy. So, he's actually heavy enough to press down the switch that's over here and stop the wind. But just be careful, you know, because if you step off the switch, the wind returns. So, we need the Deku Leaf for this. So, these springs right here, you can step on them, put on your iron boots, and you can spring off them 
getting some height. Uh, this is going to be used several times throughout the dungeon. This dungeon is very well thought out, surprisingly enough. Because, well, it's, it's the, it is the second to last dungeon in the game. Literally, we're, we, are, we are almost done here. Second to last. After this, it's really just the final dungeon. And that's it. Yeah, of course, that game corrupting had to come at this perfect amount of time, right? I know. Got some armos here. Let's have a fire, fire arrow. Nothing. No. Arrows. There we go. Oh, wow. That killed him. Jeez. Could not have gone better for me. Come on. There we go. All right. Take a leaf. Take a leaf. Get back to the blade trap. There we go. And the car is at the other room. Thank you. I was, uh, I was afraid I didn't forgot to bring him into this room because I actually need him. Um, anything up there? Ah, there's a target up there. Pay attention to that for later. Let's float on by the blade trap. And plant a seed. Nope. Plant a seed. And plant another seed. And that should open the door. Woohoo! And I'll just carry him. I'm probably going to be carrying him through the majority of this dungeon. Because boy, is he slow. I need him again. See, this is why I'm. This is why I'm saying, the, the uh, planting a tree mechanic is used heavily through this dungeon. So you're really gonna need to be able to get used to it. And I don't know why they use it so much, even this early. This is the third instance that we have to use them. And we're not even ten minutes into the dungeon. Yeah, not even ten minutes. So go up here. And when we plant the last seed here, it should open both doors, I believe. Open that door. Open that door. And wouldn't you know it, we got floor masters who kidnap our kids. Oh, that sounded really great. Although, compared to the Earth Temple, that this is even worse. We'll see in a second here. Go over here. Link, I'm over here. Yeah, he's in jail. Link. The stone that blocks entrance seems extremely heavy. The only way you can move is if you were to become as heavy as the Great Deku Tree himself. Ah, if only the Great Deku Tree was here right now. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, we need the dungeon item to get him out. So, where in the uh, Earth Temple, you can just get Medley to fly out. In the Wind Temple, you need the dungeon item to get your friend out of jail. So we're going to be without him for a while, but thankfully you do not need him for a while. Yeah. Yar, I hurt. I hurt. Ow! That hurt. My green rupee. Um, hey, don't come any closer. Eat the bomb. Large stall are most a little annoying sometimes, but mostly easy. And they always drop an item crystal. Okay, the other item crystal. Also, this is the main hub room, if you can tell. We don't have the dungeon map quite yet. Or do we? No, we don't. Okay, we still need to get the dungeon map. That won't be for a couple more rooms, I don't believe. Let's see what's in this room. I should mention right now, I am not all that well versed with the Wind Temple compared to the Earth Temple. If the last episode was anything to believe, um, I don't know. These later game temples or dungeons, I'm not all that particularly familiar with. I honestly don't know why, because I've beaten this game a slits, a, a slits, and it's just these early, these late game temples. I can never remember exactly what you need to do. Oh, get, no. 
Well, there's the first time that's happened. Where's he gonna dump me out at? Go oh, back in here. Oh, geez, okay. Not too far, but I'm not gonna deal with the Armos. You can go to hell with Armos. I don't care. See what happens if I take a... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Insta-kill. And... Yeah! Wacky with a skull hammer. Yeah. The Earth Temple may be uh, rife with Floor Masters, but you know what? Their Wind Temple has them too. Just not so much. Oh, hey, there's another one. Get out of the way. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, come on! Really? You gotta be kidding me. Thankfully, they don't damage you. Now I have to go all the way back. <laughs> I got cocky again. Ah! Oh, come on! <laughs> well, third time's a charm. That's what they always say. Oh, that could have been gone a lot worse. Okay, you get you get away. Get away. No. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Nope. Come on. Nope. 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 <laughs> no, no. Okay, you know what? I'm going to ignore the second wolf, wolf, uh, floor master for now. Because apparently that's my kicker here. Wow, I almost landed on the blade trap. That could have been great. I think this is the dungeon map. No, it was a joy pendant. Okay. Um, we can't go th through that door. Oh, this room. Oh, joy. Just like the Earth Temple had a notoriously bad room that no one likes, so shall the Earth Temple. All right, so the gates in this room are closed. We can't move through, but there is a switch on top of that uh, kind of platform. I wouldn't call it a platform. Um, an area thing to stand on. You know what I'm talking about. Um, you can press it and it opens the gates. Um, thankfully, there are tons of grass in this area. Oh, here comes more. Here comes more. Fire. You want to throw fire at me? I'll throw fire at you. There we go. Use a little bit of magic to get him. I'm perfectly fine with it. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's not the end of the world if you fall down, although it is a bit of a pain to get back up. Also, these enemies, try to kill them as much as you can. They keep coming back, but if they grab onto you, they suck you of your uh, magic power, and that will make it even more, even more difficult for you to make it through this room in one piece. So keep that in mind. Also, if you have a platform before you, take advantage of it. I mean, seriously. Because this room can be very, very difficult if you don't take that into account. Um, there are some side areas, which I think this is the dungeon map over here, by the way. It, it's not. It's the compass. Because the design of the treasure chest should indicate dungeon map. Dungeon map! I knew it. So we're, what are we looking at here? So a two-floor temple, or the one basement floor, 
man, it's not overly extensive. In fact, we're we've already already uh, explored at least a little bit, a little less than half of it already, or actually more than half of it. Jeez. Um. But that is that is that large uh, hub room that's the kicker, because we're not we may have already explored more than half of the dungeon, but we're nowhere near done with it. Trust me. We we've only just started anyway. Come on. There we go. Oh, excuse me. I burped there a little bit. All right. Get more of my magic. The Gathering. Card game. You know what I'm talking about. Um, worm my way around here. Oh, there's another whiz robe, apparently. Well, no matter. Oh, that could have been badly. Did I seriously push that skull off? Damn it. Oh, wow. There we go. Okay, I'll kill you. Give me some more. No. I was hopeful. I get some more magic. Okay, that's fine. It's more than enough to get me over to the other end. Okay, dokie. We're making good progress, though. Which is awesome. But since that we've explored more than half of the dungeon, and what this what this uh, little switch here is going to do, I think I'll uh, cont we'll continue things next time. So join me next time for more Legends of Wind Waker HD, where we continue the Wind Temple, and hopefully see the boss. Because you're going to know, I love the boss of this dungeon. I really, really love the boss. See you guys later. Thank you.